here's the new floor. This wood chips are still a little in there. And that's all there. And then get this chair for free last weekend. In the garage sale. I'm just gonna I like to use that to come over here and sit. And then there's the raised bed, some garbage and uh so here I have two white and two red. I mean, I got a whole bunch planted outside. I just want to see what these do in here. Uh, nothing else in here for now. They're going to be gladioles and stuff, and uh, tomatoes and peppers and whatnot. And then here I got this topsy turvy thing with strawberries in it, but a lot of them aren't doing so great. There's one doing okay. And, you know, the rest of them kind of look like this. I don't know if I buried the crown too deep or what but we got a couple doing really well they were just bare root strawberries when I put them in there and then over here we got maybe my favorite new feature I found an old radio so I put it out here it works okay it's a little hard to keep on the station but hey whatever works and then over here these actually stay out here every night there's a heat mat underneath here and it's been keeping them warm I just put them in this tall um let's put the tall lid over it and it's kept them it's been minus five in here and they've been out here doing okay and i mean this is cantaloupe these two are minnesota midget cantaloupes uh watermelon uh looks like another cantaloupe there yeah i think it's cantaloupe yes it is and then another watermelon uh cucumbers right here and this is uh Butternut squash. <clears throat> I got two basil plants, which were actually uh, saved. They were in here at one point, and I slept in one day because I wasn't feeling good. <laughs> and I came out, and it was 35 in the greenhouse, and those were still covered with another cover. I don't even know how hot it was in there. And I got this little setup for power now. I got the, the fan, the radio. And these two timers that run the heat mats and uh, I was lucky I got this for ten dollars at Canadian Tire over the winter it's uh it's great I like it so far oh apparently we've got a little spider living on it too a little, little focus but uh, these are they're supposed to be white alpine strawberries they uh, they're growing okay I planted a lot more than this but and I uh, I usually don't use them, but I didn't have any more planting spots, so I had to use these peat pellets. I don't like them, but uh, they're working for this. And then over here, I got marigolds. They, I lost, uh, you can see I lost a few to frost. They get covered up with the little cover from the show before, with the big one. But it doesn't really, it didn't cover this corner one night, or they were touching the sides when it got really cold. I'm not sure. There's a heat mat underneath here, too. It's just, the heat mats also just run at night, and they seem to be working really good. Uh, another basil. This one's much bigger than the two over there. As you can see, it wasn't left in the uh, it wasn't left in the greenhouse that day when it was too hot. And it's also in a bigger pot. Those ones also need to be transplanted. And uh, we got another watermelon. Some tiny tim tomatoes in both of these pots here. Uh, another. Uh, cucumbers right there, two of them, two more here, another butternut squash, and I think another butternut squash. Those ones all come in at night, I don't have another heat mat, and plus I don't have, this thing's too tall, I don't, the basil's too tall, I don't have a, don't have a way to bring it in at night, because this is my only heat sink, so I have to bring everything in, that's nowhere near enough for the greenhouse. I'm looking into getting maybe two bigger barrels to put here and here. And I bought a little fountain at the thrift store the other day. Hopefully that'll that'll help it out a little bit. Here's uh here's a change I made this year on the window here. I added these little brackets because uh, the window wasn't staying straight, so it would open up and then it wouldn't close with this little automatic opener. As you can see, it's raining and cold today, so it's not open, but. Um, it would open but it wouldn't close right so I had to straighten it up and now it works fine I haven't had to adjust it since and uh, there's something I never thought I'd put in here we had a lot of aphids and a lot of mosquitoes 
the start of the season though. So I put that in. I'll probably take it out once uh, once I get some flowers in here because I don't want to kill the pollinators. But these also uh, these also coming tonight. That is a uh, habanero pepper that bad and needs transplanted, but that'll come soon. Another melon, another Minnesota midget, another Minnesota midget melon, and two more watermelon here and here. And then lemon balm right there. I think it also needs to be transplanted, but it's going in with the basil and some chives into a much bigger box. I don't know if you can hear me. I might have to record the audio, re -record the audio with the rain here. But uh, here are two jalapeno peppers. And this here is a chili pepper. They're doing great. I clipped the top so they branch out. They've been doing awesome. This is a Roma tomato. It's doing really well. Like it's really, really big. And here is a Better Boy tomato. It's also doing good. They're getting a little yellowish at the top here. Probably just need some fertilizer. I haven't given them much. And then this is a Mystery tomato which was also in with those two basil when they got heat stroked and um, it's it's bounced back great uh, I think it's a better boy because if you look at the leaves here's uh, one from each here's the one I know is a better boy and if you look at these leaves they look pretty much the same whereas the Roma here has these little wrinkles on their leaves so I think it's a better boy and another change I did was I took the nails. I just had these nailed in and I changed them for screws because it wasn't going, like the door was really, it would really move if I had it open. And it was hard to keep it open. But also, as you can see, I got a few little leaks. It's really coming down out there right now. But uh, yeah, and then this, I'm going to bring this trellis down and attach it to the back of that. Once I get everything cleaned out, and I got a bunch of mulch there for later. But yeah, um, this is a new raised bed too. That's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. Goodbye.